back at it. Still shipping this work. Yeah. But it all ships today. Yeah. Oh yeah. Been shipping all weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Omar's been tripping all weekend. Came and clicked up his poop. Clicked up his poop. What if they could just click it up? That'd be sick. Start our own game like Farmville. They probably have it. See, that's people's problem. Every time you come up with a good idea, people think, I totally come up with that good idea by myself. Someone had to come up before me. He's about a million dollars fly out of the window, dog. Well, let's Thought I was already out. there. You know what I invented when I was eight years old? Four door van on vacation. Because I was sick and tired of climbing over my sister. But yeah, why don't they have a door on the other side? You know what I saw the next year? Four door van. Yep. Could have been an eight year old prodigy. Damn. Never again will it slip through my fingers. Yeah, that's right. My dad thought he was going to be a millionaire because he found a Band-Aid inside of a box of McDonald's french fries one time that my sister was eating. My sister goes, Ugh, there's a Band-Aid in here. And it's all bloody and shit. I called his lawyer. My man was like trotting around the house like Ric Flair coming out in the intro just stunned. Lawyer says we're going to be fucking rich. We're going to be fucking rich. He puts the fucking McDonald's bag on the fucking counter. The next morning he's going to meet the lawyer. Our dog, our lab at the time just hopped up there in the middle of the night, ate all of it to shreds. It's just shreds. And dad's just in tears in the middle of the kitchen floor the next day you know like Sunday. our millions are gone true fucking story um so what we're going to get weed what else do we have to do that's it oh there's something else we're back motherfuckers hopefully the mic's on demonetize this bitch we're gonna anyway Turns on one. next person who tells me you have my own youtube channel you're getting clapped what? that's the kid in my instagram he's like dude you gotta vlog yourself too but does anyone understand we vlog all day you see me you see ted what do you want to see when i go home yeah, did i play fortnite yeah. with ronan funny that people think that you would be able to even edit well that and that's what i go into too i was like you don't understand if i let's say i do shoot from five till eight and i'm editing from eight till like what for what the art Art is the edit. You make it funny because you're funny. Not that I'm not funny, but there's an art to putting a story together and making it fucking interesting to watch. I don't feel like doing that every night. Yeah. Shit, I don't feel like doing that. People yeah, just don't know how much work it is. So. They don't. That's what everybody. My biggest challenge to anyone to talk shit about a vlog about me anyway. They're like, yeah, this vlog's boring. They're like, oh, this is stupid. Just vlog for a week, my G. Yeah. Just give it one solid seven day week and then report back to me. Hey, ladies. Drop I'm back. back. You hear that? I do. The United States Postal Service Dance Club. Yeah. Welcome. They just laughed at me. Behind the counter. So, uh, Yandi now has a new release date. No. November 23rd, which is, Yo, Black, which is Black Friday. You know. It's that, fucking bullshit. And here's why yeah. it's bullshit. All it was was a fucking ploy to get numbers on SNL. I brought SNL back. Wearing a fucking they MAGA being, hat, you're going to get they're the most being replayed like, Yeah, videos. genius marketers. Kim Kardashian is the one that leaked this information. Is like, Yandi, November 23rd. Trust me, it's worth the wait. Bitch, we don't give a fuck what you think about music. Yeah, Nobody it, in the world is checking on fucking Kim Kardashian yeah. to be like, what do you think about this fucking track? You like them all. Like, Oh, Kim K gave it the cosign, y'all. It's a rap album of the year. Fucking get the fuck out of here. And I really don't think I can deal with everybody's political opinions for the next fucking goddamn two months about the shit. This is what's annoying. I don't care about too many people's political opinions at all. This is the whole Ja Rule thing again. It's coming around full yeah. circle. It's like, I don't fucking care about Kanye West's opinion politically. If he opens some schools, great. Call me when they're open. Like, yeah. I don't give a fuck about all this bullshit. All this political flip flop chit chat. But and yeah. I think that's for views too, man. I it think is. You put that hat on, you know, everybody goes, wait, he wore a MAGA hat while he performed. I gotta go watch. Now they're going back and watching it just to see it. Just to see with their own eyes that that really happened. It's silly. It's like silly, Mark, because you're making your fucking fan base slash customer feel stupid, respect you as an artist. And now you're gonna make us fucking jump through all these hoops and wait. Like, this shit's not funny. I don't know. I think celebrities, quote unquote, need to be careful because they think with that title, comes the ability to just kind of like fuck with people or shit on people or be weird and put themselves on a higher platform. But that sh that line is blurring, dog. That yeah. shit's blurring quick. You know, and people are like, oh, this regular person got famous. Like, no, people are realizing that fame is a thin, invisible line that is made up and that there's no such thing as anyone who's famous. That's what's happening. And now we all have a channel. Now we all have a channel, yeah. yeah. So I want everybody to see this, though, because this is the same. This is how it got fucking shipped. I don't think people understood. Oh, we understand, though. Smell it from here in that bag so I don't know how you mailed it. Vince, this says something about a restaurant. Alex bought it at a restaurant supply place. I don't know what it says. Does anybody know what I'm like? Mm -hmm. Oh, watchers! Hey! You don't have to be sucker. Joint, I got a draw. I'm rolling up got, Mandarin cookies. We just got the lookbook back. The lookbook's going out. I got tattoos to go do. We had to go get keys for the shop. Got weed. We're out oh, here, yeah. son. Viola. Cause I gotta get us demonetized for the day. He says this is gassy. Oh, this is gassy. So we're gonna gas out 
on some GMO garlic cookies. Smell this shit. You'll probably smell it before I get it to you. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so fuck with CRX real hard. We still got that CRX like that. Back up off my fucking frisbee, boy. So I'm drawing, I've been drawing, I got an appointment in an hour and a half. I'm gonna continue this drawing and I'm also gonna listen to this third part, or I guess it's the third part of this fucking Jake Paul documentary. And I don't know, like, oh, the culture of YouTube is so fucking weird. And the weirdest shit, this documentary by Shane Dawson, which I, you know, seems to be highly respected in the YouTube community, but Jesus fucking Christ, this is the worst piece of shit documentary I've ever seen. I can't stop watching it. It's terrible, or like shittily scored emotional music, deep drum claps and so over the word the word sociopath is being thrown around all cr it's terrible but i'm gonna finish watching it and then i'm probably gonna go off about it all day I, I can't stop myself boom 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 stuff shipping getting friends and family lookbook out today answered tattoo emails for la it looks like i'm only coming for the weekend so i'm getting that all organized things are fucking crazy right now alex is leaving Ern leaves for london on tuesday alex leaves for la on wednesday i'm probably not leaving till la until friday shit is all over i'm gonna get this done I got a ton of drawings to do too. Like I got so many ideas for stuff and no time to draw them. Yeah, that's, that's what's going down. But I'm gonna listen to this stupid Jake Paul thing. But I got mad reviews. I'm gonna review this documentary. I'm gonna review the GoPro 7. I'm gonna review Spider-Man as a video game. I don't know what else. Let me know if there's something I'm missing. Yeah, all right, back to work. Listen to Carter 5 yet? No. It's good, yeah. it's pretty good. I'm surprised. I'm honestly surprised. But then by like the 10th or 11th song, and then, well, the intro is like, Jesus Christ, like, I'm about to cry. Call my fucking mom afterwards. I didn't, but I probably should have. Starts off all fucking heavy. First song, you're like, God damn, Little Wayne can still rap his motherfucking ass off. And it's not corny. Like, it really isn't. I thought it was gonna be, it really has like Carter Three vibes, pretty much majority of it, you know? The beats are just phenomenal. Yeah. Mm, good, good album. I give it a seven out of a ten off of two listens, okay. one and a half listens. Cool. What time do you leave tomorrow? 5:30 a.m. No, at night. I'm gonna drive my own car there. Brandy's gonna pick it up. Yeah. Bro, old '80s drug deal shit. Yeah. You know, it's a white Volkswagen in the airport. Parking space 6D. That's your car there. Take it. I don't ever want to see it again. Right off into the sunset. Yeah. There's a million dollars in a locker. At the I'm gonna MCA. leave her a card on her seat. That's all she's getting. Not a million dollars. Right. Maybe I'll put ten bucks in it. To leave the gas tank on E. Well, that's what I was gonna do and leave her a challenge. I'll leave her the money in the card. She literally. has a house key. I was gonna say she's like a scavenger hunt for the house key. Or the car key. When she actually gets to the car oh, and feels yeah. for the key, instead of the like, key there, there's a note. You know, I know we need to spice up the relationship with a little game. So I hid the key somewhere in Terminal B. <laughs> Good luck. There are clues peppered along the way. Thank Don't God. call me if you need me. <laughs> I'll be in a plane. So. Also, if you're feeling like you could just Uber home, I'll change the locks of the house. The house key is inside the car. I think I'm bluffing. Take a little fucking shiny key from the dash. Sick, dog. Oh my God, it would be so good. <laughs> it would be the greatest roll ever. We need, to, we would have had to have. <laughs> we would need, we need what? A cameraman. A fucking vacation ready to go for her so she doesn't divorce your fucking ass. Yeah. Slayer. <laughs> Tell me about my Slayer eats vegan cheese shirt that I made. No. No, so, I must watch that guy turn into fucking human cheese. Did you hear about Papa John's? No, First off, now? they just need to change the fucking name. Like, just drop the name Papa John's. Just yeah. come out as fucking pizza like, party. The, Fuck it. Let's the go. Daddy Jack. Whatever. Whoa. Just I, fucking get rid of it. Like, fucking get rid of it. And they're not. They're just changing their name. They're dropping the S. Just Papa John. As if that's going to make a fucking... That sounds even worse. Hope's name, you know? Yeah. And Pope then they're John. just getting rid of fucking old John racist ass Schneider off the box. And I guess he's like freaking out. He's having an identity crisis, possibly suing the corporation. I don't even know, dog. Jesus. Shit is crazy. They need a full... Like, I am Papa John. They need a full rebrand. Just go full black metal. Confuse the fuck out of everybody. Be like super... Papa John. Imagine the press they'd get from that. Yeah. Just do like a carbon-based black crust let's fucking go it's almost halloween give me the fucking infrastructure dog rebrand papa john's if you're out there if you have a family member that is ahead at papa john's full rebrand get rid of the name 
Yeah. In fact, you also do a commercial where you murder Papa and kill John. Papa John. Yeah. If it was Domino's, I'd say Dude, have the Noid come back that. and just walk around. See, no one would do that, but that would be It's because these companies don't have balls, man. They don't know. They don't know that people just want to laugh. I'll buy your pizza if you make me fucking laugh. Not if you're racist. It's true. Like, honestly, if I watched them kill Papa John, I'd go out and buy a Papa John <laughs> yeah. pizza that night. Yeah. Papa, you give some out Daddy some, Jacks. Yeah, you give some, like, Jack the Rippers. Some, uh, Jack the Rippers pizzas. Buy the slice. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. Oh, crack myself up. Um, yeah, I'm just saying, dog. We need to shake things up with the pizza chain world. Yeah. This shit is fucking boring. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, Burn. it's all streaming. So, like, where's the, where is, what is the benefit, though, for him? Like, I just want to know, like, where it is works it into, the cal into the calculation. No, there's some. It's Live in the motherfucking streets of Littleton, folks. Welcome to Littleton. Colorado. We're outside of Think Tank South, which right now is closed. We're gonna do some tattooing. When I say we, I mean Teddy. It's always stressful. Here, where you're set and turn an alarm off. Always fucking stressful. Littleton, we are open. You guys here for a tattoo? Yeah. Teddy? Yeah. Oh, come on up. There, look at that. See, it worked. That's how you advertise out here, motherfuckers. Hey, you guys could just sit and chill if you want. And he's just setting up. Or you could come on back, he says. So you just... Done. Going to the home. Going back to the house so I can edit the vlog now. Yep. <laughs> 7 p.m. in this bitch. Erd, why don't you vlog? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh -huh. um, where the fuck is the shoe? No, it's behind me. Alright, it's late. Uh, Alex is making me a meat and cheese. This is the uh, Adidas Dragon Ball Z Goku Shin. Each box has a uh, different Goku, well, no, each box has a different illustration that makes one large illustration. This is what the front looks like. These were crazy limited. I didn't realize how limited they were until um, I found out that they were limited. Mr. Goku here. <laughs> but yeah, Dragon Ball Z collab. This is definitely a fan shoe. This is not a shoe that I really wanted. ZX500, kind of like a bulked up and Niki. Also not a shoe that I'm crazy about. There's been a lot of colorways that have been announced and are coming and they're cool, but um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna get any or not. Dragon Ball Z paper. I'm really careful here. Well, here's the shoe. It's like all printed on. I got paper inside of the box. That's cool in the box. Yeah, it's cool paper. Very Thank you. Well. Whoa, look at my meat and cheese plate. It's fancy. So this is the Goku ZX500. The colorway obviously goes with Goku's attire. The colorway is set. The materials are nice. Basically canvas and suede. Tumbled suede all around. Three stripes are crinkle cut you know, DIY style. Same thing with the tongue. It's got kind of the frayed in battle, swaying in the wind. Look, speaking of wind, there's a cloud on the toe box. I'm going to assume the Goku character because every time I say kanji, I get it wrong. It's either... I don't know what this one means. I'm not going to pretend to be a huge Dragon Ball Z fan because I'm not. Uh, I respect the story. I don't know the whole story, but, but yeah, it's a cool shoe. It's not, not for me. I didn't get it for me either. Obviously being a size nine, there's a little star. On the inside boost you know i can't really review a shoe because i didn't wear it i can't tell you how it fits it looks like it's got nice materials though so if that's your thing that's your thing if you're super into dragon ball z this is your thing so here's our dilemma i was going to give these away well i'm still going to give them away there's a lot of boost in there still going to give these away i didn't know how to give them away i asked a bunch of people today what i should do suggestion was do something and have people send in their shoe collection because my main thing is i want the shoe to go to a fan <laughs> these are reselling for quite high these last time i checked is at least 
double retail with 360. I want this to go to a real fan <clears throat> of Boost or really just even just Dragon Ball Z. So here's our dilemma because originally I was gonna do something regular like send me your Dragon Ball Z collection and your shoe collection, whatever, what have you. But someone else kind of doubled up on this or doubled down. Maddie who works at the shop sent me this text. <sighs> that says, I've never cared about shoes, but those Goku ones, oh my God, I'm a size nine. I'll totally go Super Saiyan power up video on the vlog to win those. Sorry I'm so ridiculous. I love you. Please come by and work again. I'm gonna see if I can get Maddie on the phone, but this may be the contest. Hello? Yo. What up, Teddy? What's up? So I have a, uh, there's been a change in this, in the plans. So I was going to give these shoes away, um, just by like shoe collection, whatever, what have you, like, uh, Dragon Ball Z collection. But now I'm turning it into a Super Saiyan contest. Oh so now whoever has the best Super Saiyan video yes. wins. <laughs> So it's basically oh everybody versus everyone in the world that sees this that enters versus you. Oh my god. <laughs> so you can make your own Super Saiyan video in the private of your own home on your phone. But uh, yeah, you have like a week. I'll get that done tonight. Oh, oh shit. All right. So I'm going to need Super Saiyan video and then I'm going to open an email <laughs> and have people send in their Super Saiyan videos. Oh and then we're going to vote. We're going to figure out who wins. That's amazing. Yes, yeah, it's great. So funny. So, should, I, should I just do like a, like a story? Like a hey, story? listen. Like, you do whatever you want it's you want it's a $360 shoe at this point so you put in whatever effort you want someone out there may add special effects I don't know you know what I'm saying I'm looking forward I'm hoping I'm not just disappointed with just two entries really you know but we'll see what happens okay as soon as Monday Night Football is done I'm oh yeah cool you got you got at least a week so oh I'm gonna work on that all right peace awesome all right so that's the deal. Email your submission to, I don't care what shoe size you are, I guess, because I can't really check, but I don't think you're gonna go Super Saiyan crazy for a shoe that you can't wear. Email me with the title in the email, Super Saiyan Contest. Email to oh-it's-teddy at gmail.com. It's a very easy one. Just make sure you title it correctly so I don't lose it. Oh, it's teddy at gmail.com. A video, that's the only rule. You got at least a week. All right. Peace.